Hey guys, how you doing today? Um, I wanted to show you my new plant that I got. Today is Wednesday and she came um, Saturday morning. I didn't have time to do an unboxing video, so I'm going to show her to you now. This is a plant that I have had my eye on for about three, maybe four years when I first started growing my orchids. Um, this is a <clears throat> Clivia Miniata, and this is actually, this is a yellow one. As you can see, her leaves grow up beautifully. She is related to Amarillo, um, and it's almost very, very similar care. Um, she will bloom either late winter, early spring, to late spring. It just kind of depends on the environment. Um, and she, like I said, is a yellow one. She will have a beautiful yellow bloom. And her leaves are fan-shaped. You can see the crown. And I have her tied up, or staked up. So she stands up uh, straight until her roots get set in well. Um, I don't know if she will bloom for me this winter or not. We'll just wait and see. Um, being she was shipped and everything, I... I know this plant is kind of touchy as far as um, it likes to be in a tight pot um, with the crowded roots and it does not like to be repotted. So, you know, it might set her flowering back another year, but I'm okay with that. I'm just very, very happy to have her. Usually the common color is orange. Um, the yellow is a little more rare, so I was very, very happy to get the yellow, uh, which is what I wanted. I'll put, um, I'll put pictures up on the screen of the yellow flower and the orange flower. So anyways, you try, you kind of try to keep them, uh, treat them the same way as you do an amarillo in the winter to get it to bloom. Um, you want to, this plant, unlike the amarillo, does not lose its leaves. It always keeps its leaves on it, where the amarillo will, the leaves will die down, turn like a yellow color, and then you put it into its rest period so um now you through the summer after it gets done blooming um you want to keep it very well fertilized and you want to let your pot dry down about halfway and then water her um they don't like to be waterlogged and they like to be kept a little more on the drier side um, and then you want to fertilize all summer long up until you get ready to let her go dormant. So for this plant, um, it, it does, growing it in the house, you want to keep it in a bright light, which she will be growing out in the summertime out here. And then when I bring her in, um, she will go through her fall uh, dormancy. So late fall, which is for me in October through January, you want to keep her in a cool spot, no lower than about 50 degrees, but you want to keep her in a bright area and you want to let her dry all the way down. And then um, once the pot dries all the way down, you give her a little bit of water. You want to keep the leaves nice and firm like how they are right now wow we got a really nice breeze um so you want to just keep her watered enough to keep the the foliage from shriveling up um so i will probably keep her on my back porch like i do a couple of my orchids that need that cool rest period 
and I will bring her in as soon as we are getting below 50, 45 degrees, I'll bring her in the house and I'll probably put her in a south or west window somewhere where it stays cooler in my house, which will probably be upstairs um, in a room I have up there where I keep other plants, some of my cactuses and stuff. Um, and then <clears throat> come January, um, February-ish, I'll start watering her again, and hopefully she will start her, uh, her bloom cycle, if I'm lucky. Um, but this is a beautiful plant. Um, it does take a little bit of work to get flowers. I've, other, I've heard other people say it's really hard. I've heard other people say it's super easy. So we'll just kind of wait and see. Um, I live in Ohio, so... It's going to be a little bit different for me than most people, than some people. So we'll just have to kind of wait and see. But I'm very excited about this plant. I got it on Macari. Um, I've been getting quite a few plants from Macari site lately. And so far I've been very, very happy with everything that I've gotten. I'm not happy with mail service, shipping, but... You know, that has nothing to do with the sellers or their shipping speed. It has to do with the post office, so. Um, I do have another plant coming. It was supposed to be here yesterday. Today's Wednesday. Um, and I haven't seen it yet, so. Once again, for the United States Postal Service. But I just wanted to show her to you guys and um, give you a little bit of information about what I know. I've never grown it before. This is all just information that I found online. And I'm just going to pretty much treat her like I do my amaryllis and go from there. Except for she keeps her foliage, so that'll be nice. I think she's beautiful. Um... I'm keeping her a little bit on the moist side right now because her when I got her, her roots were very, very small. Um, and they will grow out and be big, big, huge roots. So I put rooting her hormone on her and I'm keeping her, I'm not keeping her wet, just a little on the moist side. So her roots will grow out well for me. But, um, so far so good. I'm not having any problems. All of her leaves are looking really, really good. And, um, this one is a little yellow, but I accidentally, I broke it. I, I snapped it. But I'm keeping her just tied up right now. Keeping her together until her roots get a little bit longer. And, uh, we'll take it from there. I'll do updates. Um, I do have another update video coming up. I have some garden plants I want to show you guys. And I have some house plants that I want to show you. I have a couple more orchids blooming and one that's setting some more buds. So I'm real happy about that. Um, <coughs> so I am going to let you guys go and I will talk to you later. You have a great day. Bye. Peace.